of the evening is going to feature a kickboxing match. James Francis going up against Kyle Herrera. I knew Kyle when he was just a little guy, and he's done karate all his life. He's got awesome kicks. He's a good. He's got good form. He's a good athlete. And we all know about Scrappy James Francis. I tell you what, Kyle Herrera got to bring all the karate and everything he knows because Francis has been on a winning. <laughs> It's going to be a great fight. All right, that's a one to wait kickboxing. Check it out. Oh, man, oh, man. A couple of very good stand-up fighters about ready to come in here and mix it up tonight. And, uh, but got a couple of, apparently, that they're posing for the pictures there. And, and if you look like that, why wouldn't you? The hurt Kyle Herrera, Mikey, he looks like a specimen. My goodness. Well, we've talked about this. He's, he's been training with Jake Paul, and I think you have to have a body like that. To be in that group. Five foot ten, 155 is Kyle Herrera. There's another guy. It is a, it is a polar opposite type of a kid here. James Scrappy Francis. He's just a very nonchalant kid, uh, but he's, his stand up has gotten very, very good over there with the body dynamics guys. He's also five foot ten, 155 pounds. And Scrappy is just that, Mikey. Scrappy. Well, yeah. somebody lied on their application because they don't look to be the same height here, but. <laughs> You know, a couple inches here and there never hurts when you're talking to the ladies, right? Oh, most well, that's sugar loaf. <laughs> well, all right, a touch of the gloves, and here we go. Kickboxing here uh, in the Ultimate Combat Experience. Kyle Herrera and James Francis. Herrera's coming out. Want to finish this thing fast. What a flurry in a hurry, Mike. Man, he dotted old James Francis up. <laughs> he just took a big right hand. And he keeps him coming, Mike. I tell you what, Francis got what <laughs> Tell you what, though, my concern here is Kyle Herrera. He looks to be in very good shape, but this is a frenetic uh, pace to try keep up for three rounds. Oh, yeah, try doing this for three rounds. See where that gets you. You know, Kyle Herrera, doesn't he have a karate background, Mike? Yeah, that you know, he's, uh, he did a little martial arts with the group that I was involved in for a number of years, and very talented kid. He's got, you know, a lot of talent, and clearly you can see he's grown up and he's in great shape, but, uh, you know, like I said, it's going to be tough to maintain that type of a... Uh, of an onslaught for the rest of the fight. Oh, yeah. You can see Larry breathing a little hard. Oh, yeah. He's definitely putting it together, though. It's like a nice transition. A lot of these karate guys don't really make the transition into the other sport. I'll tell you what I like about James Francis is he, he gets it. You know, he's, he's starting to really uh, relax in his fights. He's, he's really measured in his approach. He doesn't try to force things, and he waits for opportunities. And he didn't, and he, that didn't used to be his style. That's why they call him Scrappy. He used to come out winging just like uh, Kyle the Herrera fences. was doing right there. But he's learned not to do that. Yeah, he, he is uh, he's very uh, flow like water, if you could say, <laughs> Mikey. You know, and his technique's gotten a lot better. You know, like, again, he, you know, he was one of those kids that was very, very scrappy, but there wasn't anything pretty to watch about him. Oh, he's got better. Man, right there. I'll tell you what, a couple of big uppercuts. Oh, yeah, Herrera's throwing the blows out here, Mike. He, he's the one who's really looking for the knockout in this first round. No, yeah. Without a doubt, he's pressing the action, and he's really going to end this fight early. And, you know, James Francis looks like he might have taken a couple of those shots. His legs look a little bit wobbly as he's walking around there. He's taking them and breaking them, Mike. You know one thing about Francis is he stays active. You see this kid week after week step into this cage here. He's been much more active lately. There was a time when we couldn't get him to fight as frequently, but now he's back in there, man. James Francis is looking good tonight, but I think Kyle Herrera's got him in that first round. Tell you what, that is some great advice there by Jake the Snake Paul. Let's see if he can, if Kyle Herrera can make it happen in round two when we come back.